Hello Divine Ones, this is Ashley, and this week's spirit animal is the cicada. In this video, I will be sharing some personal experiences with this small messenger that I have encountered with them, as well as some of the history, mythology, tarot symbology, and the like. In general, the cicada meaning is change, metamorphosis, renewal, rebirth, past to present, reincarnation, illumination, longevity, surprise, sensuality, libido, love, partnership, teamwork, self-expression, patience, and timing. The cicada is associated with the planet Saturn, as well as the sun. In ancient Greece and Rome, they were sacred to many gods, including the sun god Apollo. It was said that they would sing to Apollo. Making reference to the mating call of the cicada. During mating season, they make this weird, funny sound. And that sound was associated with the mating call, but as well as singing to the sun god Apollo. The cicada's association with the planet Saturn in their incubation phase, cicadas blanket themselves under the cool cover of the Earth's crust. In occult studies, all insects that live in soil and dig, such as the cicada, for a duration are associated with the planet Saturn and the number seven. Cicadas in numerology, so I did mention the number seven. Number seven, the year of cicada, as well as the number 13 and the number 17. And we'll get to the number 13 and the number 17 in a moment. But the number seven, specifically with the cicada, is the number of completion. But let's address the unnoticed numbers of number 13 and number 17. Number 13 relates to a transcendent dimension of godlessness that enables one to merge spiritually. The number 13 is not an unlucky number, as many people like to believe. The ancients claim that he who understands how to use the number 13 will be given power and dominion. The symbol for 13 is a skeleton or death with a sheet. 13 is associated with genius, also with explorers, breaking orthodox, and new discoveries of all kinds. But with the connection with the cicada as well as death in the number 13 it's also connected to the 13th tarot card which is the death card and the death card deals with scorpionic energy and it deals with going deep within oneself allowing the decaying of the flesh and so the decaying of the flesh is making reference to dying to the flesh in reawakening or ripening the spirit the number 17, Enigma. The number 17 is responsible for insight, responsibility, self-discipline, strength, compassion, spiritual consciousness, and wisdom. A desire for peace and love for all humanity. In the Bible, number 17 represents overcoming the enemy and complete victory. So with the relation between the sun god Apollo as well as with the number 17, this is causes the cicada to be connected to the tarot card of the sun, which is about victory, which is about overcoming and enlightenment as well. Uh, real quick, I, I forgot to mention that the connection between the number 13 and the number 17. So the cicada stays under the ground in complete darkness for a total of 13 to 17 years. So that's where we get the connection between 13 and 17. So moving on to the number five and the number five with the divine timing and timing being one of the, the energies associated with the cicada. So there's a rhythm, there's a timing that comes with the cicada type of energy. So we're talking about phases and divine timing so how is giving that spectrum between 13 and 17 that's a gap right there that's a, um, a specific cycle so with that gap and not being um, not being precisely a number of years this is making reference to divine timing not just regular human timing and with this divine timing it's almost like a internal ticking within the cicada so this is the simulation between timing and divine timing. We have inner knowledge, patience, and resurrection. 
This is symbolic of the partnership with the Mother Earth Gaia as well as with the union with the trees and growing the roots down in the deep rich soil. So as within, so without. So the inner energy and the burial energy of the cicada deep in the soil that nourishment that it feeds on is from the trees but the nourishment that it gives back to the earth is nourishment for the trees so it's a symbiotic relationship but it also represents the relationship of as within so without so the roots that are within the earth grows upwards grows out of the earth representation of rebirth and transformation so the cicada when they lay their little eggs they lay them under the bark of a tree above ground and when the little eggs hatch the little cicada baby worms they work their way down to the soil and down to the roots and they find a nice comfortable spot and there that's where they start to grow and they, they grow until that internal clock alarms them to reemerge upon the earth to reemerge as something new so it goes through different phases much like the butterfly energy this will be more so of the possibly more so of the darker energy of the butterfly um, in between the butterfly and the moth. Now the moth is the cousin or is a different type of a butterfly. And so the cicada is in between those two. Now it starts above ground and it works its way down within and to reemerge above ground and even not just on ground but into the atmosphere into the ethers so this represents life altogether so you start off you're being you're born into this physical existence then you go through a rebirth or a death of the self and then you reemerge as something completely different and you ascend the cicada also represents sexual energy not only being associated with the base chakra, the root chakra, but it's also strongly connected to the zodiac sign of the scorpion with that deep, with, with the ability to be able to go deep within and go down to the core of the soul and reawaken something at the core of the soul. This is very much like the scorpion energy. My personal experiences with the cicada. So my first time ever really hearing about the cicada. Now I may have heard about it coming and going throughout the years. But what really caught my attention. I was watching a movie that I, I truly adore. Um, and it's called Joy. And it's based off a true story. And so she was reading a book to her, her daughter. And the book was about the cicada. And what really caught my attention was that um, the cicada stays underground for 13 years. And that caught my attention. Then it reemerges as something completely new. And I looked it up at the time and I was like, oh, that's very interesting. But what really, really got me the following year, because I actually went through a spiritual rebirth at that time, um, around that time when I first seen that movie. And I went through a, a major shift after this is around the time that I um, actually after I met my, my twin flame and um, I had the, the door open to my house at the time. And it was night. It was like towards the tail end of summer. And this big bug flew into the living room. Now, normally I would be frightened. I would like, you better not touch me. <laughs> but the cicada flew all the way around and flew in my face and then landed on my right side, my, on my right hip. And it just stayed there. And we had a intense staring competition almost. But I didn't feel, it wasn't really like competition. That's probably like the lack of a better word. It was just like our eyes locked. And then I asked the cicada, are you an angel? And then that's when it flew out and then it went outside of the door and I went onto the patio and then the cicada came back to me and landed on the same spot. And um, another another staring moment. And um, that's also when I had an, another encounter with the owl as well. And so for those that have listened to the spirit animal about the owl and um, the the, the combination of those events it was like a lot of uh, different events that one ha that happened around that time around a huge major spiritual awakening so they do represent spiritual awakening as as well and so every time that i see a cicada um the shell the shell of a cicada uh, actual cicada um 
that I always have some type of message brought to me. So they're great messengers. I think of them as angels um, to a to a degree because they always bring me um, messages, and that's what the word angel means, like messenger. So if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, share your experiences or what you think about any of the information that was shared here. I really do appreciate it. All of that helps our analytics to reach more individuals. And um, this week's tarot card happens to be the death card. And make sure you stay tuned for the Bible study and decoding. It all goes hand in hand. All of these studies go hand in hand. So check all of that stuff out. You can check out the symbology playlist here. For those that give in the 613, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, energetic exchange is a donation. Thank you guys for that. And um, thank you guys that are part of the Patreon membership. There you can receive a free monthly reading, their ascended information over there. Thank you guys for your continued support. You can join. That link is down below. Personal services as well as spirit animal readings, dream interpretation, and personal readings. All of that stuff will be listed down below in the description box. You can check out our podcast as well as this post over on our blog at www.fd11-11ministries.org. You can sign up for our newsletter. We have the spiritual business course coming up on 1111. Free prayer also listed down below. Anything that you want to find out about this ministry, you can find out on our about page as well. Okay, you guys, until next time, this is Ashley H.A. Williams. Continue to fuel your flame. Okay, peace. <laughs>